Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Empires and Puzzles video, and in this video we're checking out Ruffian and Nergib. Um, yeah, <laughs> quite a name. Before we get to this video, if you haven't checked out Gemstone Legends yet, come check it out. There are no joke thousands of players from Empires and Puzzles that have come over already, and for good reason. Simply put, it's a really fun game with some big advantages over Empires and Puzzles. We both know that the players that join these games earliest are some of the most dominant players. And this game is starting to really take off, so the longer you wait, the more you miss out on. Not only can you support the channel by using the download link in the description of this video, or by scanning the QR code on your screen, but doing so will also give you a free $50 starter bonus with an epic hero, gems, and gold coins. All for free, just by using the link or QR code provided. And then when you start, you'll gain access to beginner events exclusively for players who use the link or QR code provided that will give you another strong epic hero, a set of five star legendary equipment, and a platinum scroll for another guaranteed epic or legendary hero. Lastly, I have created a bunch of videos and a Gemstone Legends playlist on my YouTube channel to make learning this game as easy and fun as possible. So hit that download link in the description and get started with one of the most fun and deep match three RPGs. There's a great community in Gemstone Legends. It has some huge advantages over empires and puzzles. And overall, I think you guys are really going to like it. So this is the Hero of the Month for January. Uh, one of the better ones, maybe a trend of better Heroes of the Month as the other event heroes get stronger and stronger. So let's take a look at what we have here. Non-limit broken stats, pretty good attack stat, very low defense for what we are seeing from the event heroes. So that is, um, yeah, unexpectedly low. Um, HP is on the better side, but yeah, these, these stats are definitely deflated compared to event heroes, despite them all being five stars. So, um, class, we have a rogue character receives 5% mana each time its health is recovered. So that's a good fit for, um, like Holda, for example, or, um, I'm trying to think. Or um, Miriam and Midnight, where you have healing tied to minions. Um, because then you're just gaining 5% mana every turn, which is pretty nice. Every three turns, eats all minions from a random enemy and gains a small amount of mana for each eaten minion. So that's not for the whole team, just for this hero. Um, but still pretty nice. Not only are you getting rid of minions, which in this day and age can be quite dangerous but you're also gaining mana from that. And if the, hard to say what the small amount is, I wish they just said numerically what that refers to, but um, I'm sure I would expect it to be on par with like the mana from the element link of heroes like Devana. I think it was Devana. Um, okay, so first things first, fast speed deals, uh, excuse me, steals 50% mana from the target and distributes them, <laughs> I didn't think of mana as a plural, and distributes them on allies, deals 420% damage to the target, so decent. The more health the enemy has, the more damage they will receive, up to 570. Element link gives all fire allies plus 5% chance to dodge ailments. That's a very small percentage. 5%, 1 in 20 times uh, that will happen. So almost pointless. And one of the weaker element links, and it's only ailments. So not very good. Um, all right. Anyways, strong snipe and mana cut at fast speed is good with nice passives. So let's see what this damage looks like. And what you can expect to see from this hero. This is one that I think is on a lot of people's decision list. Um, because Heroes of the Month are much more attainable. And 
This is one of the better ones that we've seen. All right, 957. Why did we hit three, three people? Didn't it look like the flanks got hit as well? Hmm, we'll have to investigate this a bit more. All right, now we're in a good spot. <laughs> As we lose heroes by the second. Alrighty. So let's try to bring our health back as much as we can so that uh, the damage we take is higher. Shoot, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's see what we got here. 1050 is pretty solid, and we're distributing mana throughout, which is also good. Um, let's see if we can get one more kill here since I'm filling a hero chest, and then we'll run it back again. All right, 1089 on full health, so that's a pretty good indication of what you can expect. Um, for the full damage, Limit Break will bring that up a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good indicator and pretty solid. Um, this time I want to try to look to see how that 50% gets distributed. I would imagine 50%, there's five heroes alive, 10% each. So, um, she was firing pretty quickly though, which is, uh, quite nice. I could see even, you know, depending on what your options are, even leveling uh, multiple copies to use on the same team. Um, you know, because if you can steal mana from uh, more than just one hero and you're distributing it, that's a pretty good thing for your team. So there was minion removal happening there. Yeah, so why does it look like the flanks are getting hit? All right, too many things to pay attention to. So this time we're gonna watch and uh, try to see how the mana gets distributed. And then why it appears the flanks are getting hit. She's charging fast though, I am impressed by that. Okay, that time it did not appear that the flanks got hit, so I'm not sure what was going on there that we observed the first time, or that I observed, maybe caught it out of the corner of my eye and it, uh, I mistook it for something else. Um, but yeah, I am pretty impressed. Um, as I've said many times before with Heroes of the Month, I'll repeat it again, but they are weaker than your average hero, your average five-star hero. So. You just need to take that into account that this is not the same class of hero that you're getting otherwise. So just keep that in mind. However, as far as Heroes of the Month go, this one does appear to be better. Um, so if that's something you're considering, this could be a good option for you. Okay. 
There's no way to heal without causing a huge commotion, so let's just go for it. Um, nice to position this hero in such a place so that uh, you have the chance of setting off other heroes within the same turn. So having her on the left flank, I think, is a good position <clears throat> based on her speed. All right, so let's see what this model looks like. Because at this point, there's only two heroes alive. So does that mean they're each going to get 25% mana? Because if it does scale, that would be pretty excellent. So let's see what happens. We're going to see a pretty strong snipe here. And it did look like Lassie maybe got 25% mana. She's probably at about 30 something percent now and had a little bit to begin with. So um, that would require some, some more difficult testing to try to figure out how exactly that works. I don't think it's necessary to do that either. You've observed um, multiple cases of what that looks like. You can go back and zoom in on those things to try to get a clear idea of what what is occurring when that mana is stolen, how it's redistributed, um, what the mana looks like when minions are killed, etc. Um, but yeah, seal of approval. Um, it's nice to see Heroes of the Month coming out a bit stronger. They're still weaker than the event heroes, so it's not hurting the game at all to have them come out stronger, and it uh, makes me happy that there are better options for... Um, people that don't have as many choices. I think that's a really helpful thing for the game, so I'm glad to see that. So let me know what you think of this hero in the comments down below. I think this one has been pretty highly anticipated, so I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. Um, yeah, that's that. Anything else you want to mention? Throw that in the comments below. Please do hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment, all those kinds of things. Thank you if you do those things already. Trying to get to 10,000 subscribers just as a personal milestone. So if you haven't joined already, um, join us. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.